What's happening guys, this is Bhatna Akwal for IGN Nerd and today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the new Zolo Q2000. Now this is a budget sort of phablet from uh, the company and uh, it features a 5.5 inch display. A couple of specifications are at the back of the device, or sorry, at the back of the box. So you can see it's a quad core uh, chipset, which is the MediaTek chipset. We have a 5.5 inch HD IPS display. Now this is a 720p display. Uh, the standard uh, set of things otherwise, dual cameras, uh, one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabyte of storage, expandability. You also have USB OTG, which is USB on the go, so you can add a hard drive or a pen drive to this device and use it. Let's quickly go ahead and unbox it and see what all is inside the box and what the device looks like. So uh, the first thing inside the box is the Q2000. Seems like a fairly humongous device. Uh, further in, we have a screen protector which is included. Uh, that's a nice thing, always. And we go further in, you also have a flip case included, which is also again a really nice thing. If I look at the flip case, a really nice finish on this. Uh, it's got a brush sort of finish on the front and a soft touch finish on the back and a nice uh, Zolo logo over here. So pretty good quality. It's a back cover replacement uh, sort of flip case. So something like what Samsung does for their devices. The box is split into two and we have uh, the earphones, uh, which are the standard flat style earphones, but they're angled this time around. So they're angled to fit into the ear properly. You also have an inline microphone and a push button and you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The cable is also flat, so it is tangle resistant. You also have a 2600 milliamp hour battery, fairly large size battery, bigger than displays of most phones. And a bunch of documentation over here, a quick start guide and a safety and legal warranty information. You also get a USB OTG cable, a standard USB to micro USB cable, and a standard USB wall charger. So that's everything from the box. Uh, let's take a look at the device itself. So this ladies and gentlemen is the Q2000. I'm gonna get rid of this plastic from the front. On the front of the device, you can see a two megapixel front facing camera. You have the earpiece and the Zolo logo over here. A pretty subtle, not too in your face. You also have a 5.5 inch uh, 1280 by 720p display, uh, which is an IPS LCD display. So that's nice. You also have three touch capacitive buttons at the bottom and you also have a pinhole for the microphone at the bottom over here. A small little chin below the display, uh, the bezel rides slightly above the display so that's nice, some sort of protection over there. Over at the right you have the power lock and unlock button and a metalized plastic bezel uh, that appears to be metal but is actually plastic, should scratch easily, that's my only concern. On the top, you have a micro USB charging and data syncing port along with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And that's about it. You also have this little push out, which is a part of the camera at the back. I'm going to show you that in just one second. You have the volume rocker on the left and uh, nothing on the bottom of the device. On the back, you have uh, the Zolo logo over here, a 13 megapixel camera and an LED flash. And a large cutout for the speakerphone at the bottom. Now I can remove this cover to reveal uh, the SIM card slots uh, and a micro SD card slot. So now once in a very long time, both these slots are 3G slots. So that's a nice thing. So you can add a 3G SIM card to both these, uh, both these SIM card slots and you will have 3G data on both of them as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pop in the battery and I'm gonna put on the flip case that comes with the device. Now this flip case is a slightly different design from the original case. It takes away the 13 megapixel badge and this metalized sort of uh, plate that is above the camera. And uh, now the camera gets slightly more exposed than it did over here. So you had some sort of protection when the phone was put on the back, it would land on this metal bit. Now it'll land directly around the camera. So uh, in terms of design, I like the back cover better on uh, the flip case, but uh, in terms of protection, the other case is better. So uh, you do have a soft lined inside on this case, so it should uh, keep your fingerprints off uh, the screen as well as some dust off the screen. Uh, but uh, let's quickly go ahead and power on the device. 
while the device is powering on we'll talk about what's inside so you have a quad core 1.2 gigahertz mediatek 6589w processor uh, we've also got the power we are sgx544 mp gpu we have one gigabyte of ram and eight gigabyte of storage and you have 32 gigabyte expandability the device is running android 4.2 and is powered by a 2600 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery. Now this device also supports HSPA plus up to 42.2 megabits per second. So that's um, that's around the 4G range. So that's fantastic. So this device can get that support. So the device is booted up. I'm gonna quickly run through the setup over here. So this is what the lock screen of uh, the Q2000 looks like. Uh, you just have a unlock over here. So I'm gonna quickly unlock. If I pull from the top, you can see the notification panel and updates over here. You also have uh, the battery life, Zolo Secure, warranty registration, and the SIM card slots uh, detailed over here. You can also jump into the quick toggles for your details. I'm going to quickly jump into settings and I'm going to go into about device and uh, take a look at the fact that it's running Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean, uh, which is uh, pretty good. It should have been 4.3 now, guys. I think companies should start taking out 4.3 now that 4.4 is out the dialer is a fairly normal dialer no customization over here you can also go into contacts and recent calls from here and you can also initiate a video call directly from here the display is really nice uh, i've got great viewing angles that's thanks to it being an ips display so overall it looks really nice if we go into messaging uh, i'm going to quickly compose a message to show you that the keyboard is again more or less stock so you don't have any customizations done by Zolo. Uh, if I go into the landscape mode as well, you'll see that you have more or less the stock keyboard. So we have a total of five home screens uh, that you can customize by adding widgets, wallpapers, and uh, shortcuts. It's fairly simple. Drag and drop is essentially what you need to do, uh, which is again, more or less simple to do. Uh, Google now comes preloaded. You just need to configure it up and uh, let's quickly take a look at the browser and see how that performs. Fairly smooth and responsive. Pinching in is also fairly smooth and uh, I can also pan around. I do see a little bit of jitteriness, uh, but that's thanks to the inbuilt browser these guys have used even on uh, the other device that we are checking out from Zolo, uh, the Q900. Uh, the inbuilt browser was not that great but chrome works really well on these devices so i'm going to check it out with chrome later on last thing i'm going to do guys is i'm going to take a look at the bunch of applications that are pre-installed so we have uh, just more or less stock apps from android you do have a file manager in facebook preloaded and of course you have the google applications uh, the device also has an fm radio which will probably require a headset to run and uh, that's about it you have a notebook application and then a bunch of zolo applications that you usually see so zolo care zolo power and zolo secure and that's about it i'm going to quickly run a video from youtube So the viewing angles seem to be great thanks to it being an IPS display. The speakerphone is really, really loud and clear and we're really happy with that. Uh, you can see over here, uh, the device feels really nice. Uh, it feels really nice in terms of build quality and uh, the, the included flip case is definitely a good inclusion by the company. Uh, usually the included flip case is not that nice. Uh, I don't know if they have a white color in this and how the flip case is on that, but this color and this finish on this flip case is really nice. It fits really well uh, into the back and uh, the overall device looks and performs uh, really nice on the initial go. The only thing is that the volume rockers get stuck behind the flip case and I don't know if I can run them through the flip case. Uh, I can hit them, they are a little tactile, but I would have liked uh, to not have them hidden behind the flip case. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, the cover completely engulfs uh, the front and uh, sort of adds protection to the front of the device but there's no magnet or anything so it's it's sort of flipping open so if the device does fall out there are chances that the flip case may actually flip open on uh, the initial days when this cover is not actually 
loosened up enough to completely fit in front of the device. So we'll be back with uh, several other videos for the device, so stay tuned for those. If you have any questions or queries, do drop them in the comment section below. Uh, you can check out more details on uh, this device on iGAN.in. Catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN, TV for iGAN Network. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.